Ah, I just bonked myself with that. Into the suction cup? What? Where the fuck is there a suction cup? Look at the ribbons that hold it up. I'm gonna decapitate myself. Somebody has discovered that a new canopy has entered the home. This is not a tree. I am back for redemption. I have bought another princess canopy for my bed from Amazon. This one is multicolor and it comes with star string lights. This is going to make my fairy vibe come true. Not just my princess vibe, my princess, fa my fairy princess vibe. Now, if you're like, Shay, didn't you just buy one of these from Amazon? Two answers, one, no, two, I did, but then my cats ate it. So we shall say a silent prayer for her, but she is no longer. There is no canopy here. After coming home from work many times and seeing the bed canopy on the floor with rips and shreds in it, I finally decided it was time to take it the f down. Anywho, I'm back and I'm better. And that is my 2022 vibe. I went a little bit higher with my budget this time. I'm gonna throw a picture up right here of the product that I bought. And I will go ahead and link all of the information about this specific canopy in the description box below in case you want to check out some specs or buy it yourself. I am just going to take this all out, see what the f*** is going on with it, and then I am going to put it up. She's thick. I'm a little bit concerned because if this is all of it, it's already four times smaller than what I thought it was going to be based on the Ooh. product photos. So that it... So we're, st we're, we're starting. It's just not a very great start. <laughs> Let's take a look at the packaging, shall we? Because there is some interesting text. On the front, it says, hello, give you best life. Followed by a warning, avoiding the dangers of suffocation, and then a nice little barcode. Followed by their product SKU information, which is called Varwanio Princess Bed Canopy String Lights Pink and White. And then, at midnight, last night, there was a distinct dream on my pillow. There were many languages. Still peach flower. Low frequency willow eyebrows. Half shy and half happy. Want to go and follow. Awareness is a dream. It's sad. <laughs> oh my god. I think it, this is supposed to say live your best life, but instead it says give you best life. If it's gonna give me my best life, I honestly am not gonna fight about that. I'm just gonna start ripping this to shreds. <clears throat> oh, look at that. It comes in a little drawstring bag. Ah, I just bonked myself with that. I'm very, there's a whole USB. I'm gonna shut my mouth. Let's just talk about this. So the first thing that I've pulled out of this bag are the string lights. And then it also has the USB plug-in right here. The next thing in this sack is, Oh. am I gonna adhere this to my ceiling top? with a 3M strip, also hanging hardware. Next, we have some random sh Another 3M strip, double-coated tissue tape. Tissue? What about, how tissue? Where tissue? Why? Probably in case you f up a few times and need another one. I have the directions, and they are very ripped. So that's great. It looks like somebody's dog took a bite out of it. Ignore the teeth marks. There are very low res photos on here, but they are showing the process. And the sixth step says that we're gonna have to stick it and then wait for 24 hours, and I'm not gonna do that. The last thing in this bag is the canopy itself. Mm. I really love the colors of this. It's like a strawberries and cream pink and white combo. This is gonna match more with overarching aesthetic I have going on. I also have a pink canopy over my TV on this side of my room. I also have a pink pin collector on my wall over here. So the pink is going to match very well. They do have this packaged very well in here though. Look at it, it's so nicely folded. I might have to lock myself in here so my cats don't destroy this. Look how pretty this fabric is. So you can see the white and the peach. Oh my God, oh my God. Did anybody see that? Wow! 
This is huge. This was like folded in there and it just bopped me in my head as it unraveled. Look how big this is. Okay, this is grand. Eos. Look at the ribbons that hold it up. I'm gonna decapitate myself. <laughs> I don't even think my room is big enough for this. Wow, how did they shove this entire thing in that tiny little bag? There is this really pretty lace all around the top. These really pretty pink ribbons. Look at all of it. It looks like a princess gown. Ooh, I'm getting excited, bitch. So I'm gonna set this on the ground for right now because it's very huge. I'm starting to get a little bit worried because my ceilings are very low and also my fan is in the center of my room, but I told myself I was determined to make this work. So I'm going to, and you're going to watch it work. First step, use the included double adhesive tape to fix the hook, or you could also use two screws to fix the hook on your ceiling. Okay, hold on, I'm so confused. I'm gonna open this up. I just don't quite understand what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, here's the pieces. I'm not gonna screw this into my ceiling. Into the suction cup? What? Where the f is there a suction cup? I think that you just shove the hook through there, take apart one of these pieces of 3M strips, stick it to the back of this piece here. Oh God, that smells like chemicals. This is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky because now I'm gonna have to place it on my ceiling. I'm gonna turn my fan off so I don't decapitate myself. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this little base and I'm gonna have to stick it to my ceiling. <laughs> I'm scared. I think what I'm gonna do is try to actually be strategic here. Based on how big this is, it's gonna need to go like there maybe? Oh, I'm sticking it right now. I'm sticking it so hard. Okay, that feels very stuck. Whew. Why am I winded? That was not a hard task. All right, the suction cup is in my ceiling. Really, all that's left to do is just hang it. Great, great, okay. Look how low it is. Oh my God. <laughs> it's way too low. Oh my God, no. No. It's like literally only a little bit taller than me. There's no way. I mean, all right. Hmm, 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 I'm not surprised. It's very short, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not cool. It can still kind of be like a cool vibe. I think there's a distinct opening. Oh my God, this is so pretty. The front has the prettiest little white tulle lace. This is a very beautiful canopy, and this is definitely more princessy than the last one I had. What I could do is I could take this down and make each of these ribbons shorter. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh no, somebody has discovered that a new canopy has entered the home. This is not a tree. So basically what I did off camera to fix the fact that this was way too long for my ceiling, I just went ahead and tied all of the ribbons shorter. I took a lot of the slack out of it and it's just way shorter now. It's going to move up significantly higher than it was before. Ugh. Ah, 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 uh, ah. I mean, it's... <laughs> These are still a little bit too tight. Yikes, this is interesting. So just be forewarned, guys. If you have a very short ceiling, this bed canopy might not be the best choice. But I mean, that's not terrible. Just, it's not great. I mean, even that is an improvement to what it was before. It's very uneven. Can you please not? I don't know, I don't know. It's so crooked. It's crooked. I'm not gonna worry about that any longer. I'm inside of it. I think I'm gonna bring myself over here. Something about this is not correct. What is going on? So crooked, I don't know. Oh. Holy crap, that was very difficult. This has proven very difficult. As you can see, it is very much pointing down. Still crooked, but better. She's not perfect, but she's also not bad. And that's kind of all that we can ask for. The canopy is almost finished. The final touch is going to be adding the string lights. Now there are no instructions explaining how to put the star lights on. My cats are underneath my bed chewing on the canopy already. 
I cannot have nice things. Oh my god. Oh, these smell like pool floaties that have been abandoned for multiple summers out in the sunlight. I have no idea how I'm supposed to hang these. I have a power outlet behind my headboard, so I think I can run the string down to the back of my bed. So that means I can probably wrap this around the top. It's very tangled. It smells god awful. I'm trying to just get it untangled at this point. Jesus. All right, guys, this is getting a little bit chaotic, so I'm going to hang these lights up off camera and then I will be back to show you guys the final result. of this video. Woo! I am actually a little bit exhausted. For some reason, I thought it was going to be easier than the four-cornered bed canopy I did last time, but this was not. <laughs> this was difficult. It could have just been because of my ceiling height. If I had taller ceilings, this probably would have been the perfect size, so when I do move, I will test that theory if I have higher ceilings, which I will. Hanging the string lights on this thing was not easy. You have to first untangle them, and they are matted in the packaging. They're absolutely mangled. Once I untangled them, I then had to <laughs> fight the fabric to try and get it around it. You will not need anything to connect the lights to the fabric because the stars stick to the fabric. It is like impossible to get them to come apart. So once the star has stuck into the fabric, it's not moving. Doesn't look great in my specific room. I think it's still cute. I don't necessarily think it needs to be perfect. I'm probably going to fight with the top and the knots at the top to try and make it look a little bit nicer to look at. I don't really think that it's necessary because I'm planning to get a lot of faux foliage, leaf strands, garland strands with some sunflowers and flowers and leaves and such that you see on like Amazon and Shein and all that. I'm gonna get a bunch of those and clip them to my ceiling so it looks like I am in a rainforest canopy. So that is probably going to be covered. So I'm not really worried about the knotting at the top. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I redeemed myself from last time. And if you would like to join the Cray Shalian family, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would would really appreciate it. It helps support me and my channel and lets me continue to make content on this platform. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's... Ooh, my titties.